Division CAD. In this tip, we'll be taking a look at inroad survey and some of the common questions I get during training and support on the uh, survey options for inroad survey. I'm going to begin by opening up the uh, survey options dialog box from the tools pull down. I'm going to go to survey options. And under the symbology tab, a lot of questions I get is regarding the text when you're looking at dynamic text and when you write the text to the um, DGN file and actually write the survey data to graphics and how is that all controlled. So if I just uh, hit OK here for a second and turn on or toggle on the uh, symbols, point names, codes, and elevations, right now this is toggling on the dynamic text. So if you watch as I zoom in on a uh, particular point here, notice how the text height of these points are not changing in the view. So as I zoom out again and zoom back in, this allows me to get tight in on a point and be able to see the shot number, the elevation, and the code for each one of the points. Especially in areas where there's a lot of points, like around culverts. If I zoom in here tight, I can get right down to the uh, culvert and the two different brake line shots here that are only a few tenths apart. So that is the dynamic text and the way that is controlled is if I go to tools survey options and then it's in the upper right hand corner here there's edit view so if I want to increase or decrease like the point names I select point names hit edit view and then this is the height of the text so I think of this as like the pixel height for that view ratio so if I want it larger I just type in uh, larger number here. If I want it twice as big, I type in 20, and then I hit OK, and then hit OK again, and then on the screen here you can see that the point numbers have increased in size. If I want to change the elevation, I can go to elevations here, edit view, and again increase the size. Another thing on elevations, when you're working with elevations, is you can change the elevation precision. So you'll notice that it's grayed out up here until you actually pick on elevations. Then you have the options here you can justify at the decimal point. Some people like that. Or maybe I want to take it out to three decimal points. You can do that as well. Again, all I have to do then is hit OK. And notice how the text size has increased. And now the elevation is reading out to three decimal points. So it's all being controlled with the edit view icon button. So that's viewing the text dynamically. The next question I get is how do I control the text size when I actually write it to graphics. So let me go back to my tools survey options and from here I can want to take a look at the uh, point names for example. If I double click the point names not hit the edit view icon but actually double click that um, point name there. This is where I can set the text height, width, line spacing, font, justification, everything that I need in order to write the survey data to graphics. So when these points, shot numbers, elevations all get written to the screen in the CAD file, this is what it's looking at for those settings. So as far as the offsets go, rotation, again the justification, height, width, font, all that is set up here and each one is set up independently so if I want to go to point elevations double click that again where is this one going to be justified what font am I using and what is the offsets with all this set up what you can do actually is set a preference if you're not familiar with inroads preferences basically if I click the preferences icon down at the bottom here I can load a predefined preference and watch what happens here I've already got a preference defined I've gone through here set up my preferences so that all I have to do is load this Envision CAD preference and this will set up the entire dialog box for me all the tabs all the drop downs everything so when I hit load then close you can see here that I've got everything set up. So if I go into the point names again and take a look, I actually created a name symbology so that I can just use that name symbology multiple times through the product. So I've got a name symbology called V Anno Point Name, and that set up the level, color, weight, justification, text height, and width, and any um, offsets predefined in here for me. So if I've got that name symbology set up, I'm just going to hit OK 
take a look at another one here, elevations. Again, it's a predefined symbology in my XIN file that sets all this up for me. I'm going to hit OK. And the other thing I'm going to take a look at is the point symbols. This comes up a lot in training. Um, and actually, after I've finished a class, people will ask me, they're snapping into a point, and the point that they're snapping into isn't actually where that plus symbol is. I use an X, capital letter X, because the graphics for a capital letter X actually snaps into where the lines crisscross. And if you use the plus symbol, there's going to be a little bit of an offset, and I'll show you what that offset is in a minute here. So with that preference loaded, all I'm going to do is hit OK. And now if I write this survey data to graphics, I'm going to go to survey, view survey data, write survey data to graphics. I've got my planimetrics toggled on, symbols, names, codes, elevations. So basically everything that I have toggled on in my toolbar will automatically be toggled on here. I'm going to set my curve stroking mode to horizontal only, which is a discussion for another time. And I'm going to hit apply. So this takes my fieldbook data and pushes it to the CAD file. And once it's been pushed to the CAD file, it's no longer dynamic. These are just CAD graphics in the MicroStation design file. So now if I hit uh, close and turn off the planimetric so I can actually see what's in my CAD file and zoom out a little bit, as you can see, I, if I zoom really tight in on these points, they're very, very small. I've got the point number elevation code here, but it's too small to actually be usable if you want to share this with your um, design team. So what's controlling the text size when you write it to graphics is under Tools, Survey Options, and under the General tab. Under the General tab, there's Text Scale. So when text is written to the design file or written to graphics, this is the scale factor that's used. So I'm going to set the uh, scale factor to 10 in this instance, and I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to rewrite out the graphics, survey data to graphics. I'm going to go to survey, view survey, write survey data to graphics. Again, I'm going to toggle on what I need to save out. You don't have to delete these. These have been tagged in inroads or microstation so that it knows to delete and replace these elements in here. So again, just curve stroking mode set to horizontal. I'm going to hit apply. It'll rewrite out the survey file for me. So now this is a little bit better. So you can work with your own data as far as what size this stuff should be written out to. And it'll be up to you then to um, set it up the way that you need for your organization. Now the other thing I was talking about was that little plus tick there. So if I try to snap into that capital letter X and then I go in there and zoom in tight, you'll notice I'm actually at that point. Okay, By default, inroads survey is set up to use that plus symbol so let me show you what that looks like if I go to tools survey options and go to my symbology for point symbols and switch that from the capital letter X I like to use back to the plus symbol that inroads uses and hit OK and then again rewrite out the graphics survey data to graphics I'm going to save out the planimetrics and just the symbols this time. Set it to horizontal only and hit apply. Now if I hit close there and start zooming in, you can see that dot. That dot represents just uh, where the ground shot was actually taken. But this plus symbol, when I snap into the plus symbol, notice the offset. And I keep zooming in and it seems like it's a great big deal. But really, if you snap into any of these plus symbols, and then zoom in to where the shot was actually taken, there is that offset. It's just a fact of the symbol itself not having the two lines crisscrossing at the center of that character. And you're OK. You're snapping into the right spot. It's just the graphic representation of a plus symbol is off. So just keep that in mind. Where you snap into is the shot location. The graphic just doesn't represent that very well at all. That's why I like to use the capital letter X, where the two crisscrossing lines actually is where I'm snapping to. So this question comes up a lot um, in support and in training. So I just wanted to share that with you. And that concludes working with the tools survey options and some of the common questions I get during training and support. If you'd like to take one of our classes, please visit envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.